I'm sure a lot of people have been meaning to ask and they've been wondering how it was for you <laughs> as a lady, a single sister mm. who mm. had mm. a very juicy proposal mm. <laughs> from a lawyer, mm. you know, as the contrary or as opposed to Bromite. <laughs> 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 but how was it? How was it? How was it for you? How did you feel? How did you feel and how did you how were you able to make that kind of decision? Mm. What went through your mind? What how was your how was it with you and God? Like in this just tell us how it was for you in the secret. I think that's your lies beside you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's only Let's answer that it. question. <laughs> I am junior <laughs> <sister Shola. laughs> Okay. Anyway, I want to believe it's the work of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Because um naturally not that you don't have people, you know, trying to woo you or do this and do that. But if that is why it is very important to give your life to Jesus and be filled with the Holy Spirit. You see, when, they, when Jesus was going, he told the disciples, don't go out. Don't start preaching. Wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit. And when Peter was baptized with the Holy Spirit, Peter was running away from a young girl was able to face thousands of people mm. ministering, teaching, talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. So when I look at that um, film, when I just, because I watched the way others are watching too, we were not there when they were, we were not on location. But one thing that God opened my eyes to see was the work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit actually work in our lives. Because it's not, it, it, it's definitely, it's, it's not easy to say yes to a man who has no steady job, have things of life. These are the things many of our ladies are looking for these days. Uh, somebody who has arrived, you know. But if you are, have the Holy Spirit inside of you, you will see beyond the man. Yes. The Holy Spirit will open your eyes to see the future. So uh, during those periods, God actually shows us the future by the help of the Holy Spirit. So when, you, when, when I saw Brother Mike, I didn't see him as just a man, but I saw the man who was loaded with the power and the gift of the Holy Spirit. I saw future. I saw beyond him. So when I was saying, we have work, are we, are we, not, are we not working now? <laughs> So you can imagine that what I was saying there was not for then, it was for now. Do you understand? If you see somebody trying to speak against your partner, against your husband, or trying to convince you not to support your husband, hey, that is the problem with so many wives today. Even in the, in, in kingdom, in the, in the kingdom, even in the church of God, some people will not see what your husband is asking you to do. And they will convince you otherwise. You see some women, they receive some of the traits they exhibit before their husband from their friends. Mm. They, when you discuss, you know, some may not understand what your husband is trying to, I mean, say to you. But they will advise you, they will counsel you according to their own understanding and their own spirituality. And they may be low spiritually. Mm. But you that are, maybe you have pastors as your friend. Imagine when your husband says, okay, I'm going on full time or I want to embark on some projects. And you know, you know your post, you know your bank account. And you now table the thing before your friend say, eh? What did you say? Say, hey, you better apply wisdom. I apply wisdom, my sister. Pretend as if you understand. But you know, that is why you see some women getting, they already create that crack in the home. Yeah. Friends are, ah, know this very sure. Your best friend is your best friend is your husband. And then you cannot befriend those who will support your vision. Yeah. If somebody is speaking against your vision, speaking against what you believe in, mm -hmm. run from that friend, or you will not go far. Answer. And for the final question, um, how do you go about it if you have a vision, but not enough resources to achieve it? You have a vision? <laughs> anyway, if God gives a vision, is you know the vision. And he's the only one that can accomplish it. He does not depend on what you have. Because he's a creator, he's great, he created everything. He, gold and silver belong to Christ. So if you are waiting to have enough resources before you embark on your vision, you, will never, you won't be able to do it. Do you understand now? Mm -hmm. 
But what God demands, what is demanding from you is your faith. Faith in that God who gave the vision. So you may start small, because every great vision we, we, we see in the world today, they started very small. Mount Zion started very small. You know the beginning. If you don't know, go and watch the tree. <laughs> so there was even time when God says, you all go on full time. If God is depending on their resources or whatever they have, they don't even have anything. <laughs> but the vision, you know, looks so great. But as we walk with him by faith, you will see God creating ways, making ways, directing you, teaching you on what to do. So you don't depend on your resources to launch into whatever God is asking you to do for him. But rather, you depend on God who created everything, including people that will assist you. He's the only one that can bring them to accomplish the vision. So don't look to what you have or what you don't have. Whatever you have will be useful, but is they are not enough to fulfill God's vision. But what you need is absolute faith. Absolute. You check your Bible. When God called David, David was nothing, but he trusted in God. Thank you so much, Mommy. Now, the next question here is, how can I forgive myself of my past mistakes, and how can I live without the guilt of the past? Mm. You just have to do that because I was talking to somebody two days ago or, or yesterday. I asked him or her because she was battling with some serious situation. Definitely she has terrible past. Mm. And I asked her, have, have you been forgiven? Do you believe God has forgiven you? She said, yes. Then I, then I told her, then you have not forgiven. You, mean you have not forgiven yourself. She said, yes. Mm -hmm. And that thing is a terrible spirit. You know, if God has forgiven you, you must determine to forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. Irrespective of what you have done, if God, if Jesus Christ can look for that Samaritan woman who has um, six husbands, mm -hmm. can you imagine, six husbands, and Christ was looking for her. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Jesus knew what he has put inside of her. She was created for God's glory. The devil just wanted to destroy the plan of God for her life. But Jesus came to her rescue, waiting for her beside the well, the king of glory, not minding, not, not even care about her past. Mm -hmm. And when she has an encounter with Christ, mm -hmm. everything about her changed. That when she entered the city to go and tell the people, they didn't see the old, 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 old woman. They saw the glory of God on her. And the Bible said they went, they went and followed her to go and see Jesus Christ. Love God. Love God. <laughs> love God. God is love.